We present Behind the Scenes, Density Fields for Single View Reconstruction. Behind the Scenes is a novel, self-supervised method for obtaining a volumetric reconstruction of a scene from a single image. Our reconstruction is represented as a density field, which maps every location of the camera of Rustem to volumetric density. Our entire model is trained on only stereo video data in a self-supervised way. Unlike methods for depth map prediction, for example MonoDepth 2, our method can reason about areas that are occluded in the input image. Compared to learning based neural radiance fields, for example pixel nerve, our representation is much easier to predict, improving generalization capabilities. Here, we show different visualizations of the reconstructed density fields for several challenging scenes from Kitty 360. Note that our method even recovers geometry in occluded areas. Using the reconstructed density field, we can also perform other tasks like novel view synthesis, here shown for Kitty and Real Estate 10K. The prediction of a density field happens in two steps. First, we predict a pixel-aligned feature map from the input image using a high-capacity encoder-decoder network. Every feature in this feature map implicitly describes the density distribution along the ray through the respective pixel. As shown in the figure, the distribution can model geometry even in occluded regions, for example behind the car. Density along the ray can later be evaluated through a small MLP. In the second step, we perform volume rendering with ray casting. When considering a point X, we first reproject X onto the camera plane and sample the corresponding feature in the feature map. We then concatenate the feature with the positional encoding of the point coordinates and feed it into the small MLP. This small MLP finally outputs volumetric density sigma. In contrast to a neural radiance field, our density field does not store color. Therefore, to still perform volume rendering, we again reproject the point and sample color directly from the image. Note that unlike the feature sampling, we can also sample color from any other available view, for example image 1 in the illustration. This is very important during training. Compared to other related works, for example Pixel Nerve, there are two main differences in our proposed architecture. First, we design the MLP to be very lightweight and give the encoder decoder a much higher capacity. Through this bottleneck, the MLP cannot reason about global scene properties and it only deals with local geometry. In turn, the encoder decoder network has to capture the entire scene geometry and produce very meaningful features. This change is beneficial for learning and generalization, as the encoder decoder is much better at capturing the context of an entire image compared to an MLP, which would only receive local training signals. Second, by sampling color instead of having the MLP predict color, the implicit function MLP has to model becomes significantly simpler. It therefore further boosts training stability and generalization. Additionally, color sampling enforces multi-view consistency between different frames. Therefore, the predicted geometry is trained to be more accurate and we get fewer artifacts, even with a small number of views. We train our method through a new self-supervised reconstruction loss. During training, we have available video data with one or multiple views per time step. A single sample consists of frames from a few consecutive time steps, for example three. One of the frames is considered the input frame from which we reconstruct the scene. We partition all frames into two sets, lost frames and render frames. We perform volume rendering to reconstruct the frames in the lost partition. Color is sampled from the frames of the render partition using the predicted densities. The photometric consistency between the reconstructed frames and the frames in the lost partition serves as the supervision signal for the density field. One of our key contributions is that in contrast to previous works, our loss formulation gives supervision signals even in occluded regions. The continuous nature of the density field allows us to reconstruct any frame from any other frame. Consider an area P of the scene, which is occluded in the input image, but visible in two other frames, image 2 and image 3, as depicted in the figure. During training, we aim to reconstruct this area in image 2, the reconstruction based on colors sampled from image 3 will give a clear training signal to correctly predict the geometric structure of this area, even though it is occluded in the input image. Note that in order to learn geometry about occluded areas, 
we require at least two additional views besides the input image during training. Through our proposed architecture and our novel training scheme, we can train our method on challenging datasets like Kitty360, Kitty and Real Estate 10K. One of the key strengths of our method is that our model learns to reconstruct the entire camera frustum, including occluded areas. To demonstrate this effect, we predict density fields for three scenes from the Kitty dataset. Below the input image, you can see the expected ray termination depth rendered from the density fields. In the center, you can see the bird's eye views of the scenes where dark areas denote high density. We can clearly see that the reconstructed density fields correctly model the scenes and recover areas behind objects. For example, in the first row behind the cars on the left side, or in the second row behind the cyclist. We also visualize bird's eye views for MonoDepth 2 as a representative depth prediction method, pixel nerve and mine. MonoDepth 2 does not predict a full 3D volume and thus objects cast occupancy shadows behind them. Pixel nerve produces a very noisy reconstruction and mine cannot very well recover occluded areas. We also confirm this aspect quantitatively using aggregated LiDAR maps, especially on metrics evaluating recovery of occluded areas, called IE, our method clearly performs best. Even when evaluating the expected ray termination depth against depth ground truth, we achieve results comparable to state-of-the-art depth prediction methods. When applying our method per frame on a video sequence, we can see that the predictions are very stable and the method generalizes very well. We show smooth transitions between the expected ray termination depth, novel view synthesis and the bird's eye view. Finally, we show novel view synthesis results for Kitty and Real Estate 10K. Note that all animations are created from a single input image each. We presented behind the scenes, density fields for single view reconstruction. For code, pre-trained models and more, please visit our project page. Thank you.